Hey guys, David here from Google 55 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be doing a review of WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. Okay, so let's get started. So WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe is a piece of software by Digiarty for Windows, and its main function is to convert video files that you already have saved on your computer into other formats, and to download YouTube videos. However, it can also be used as a basic video editor and a slideshow maker. So as you can see here, I already have one XHD Video Converter Deluxe open, and you can see that it does have a pretty basic interface. Up here we have buttons to import video files, to import YouTube video links, and you also have a button to import photos. So first off, I'll just import both a video and a photo file to show you how the video editor and slideshow function works. So I'm gonna go ahead and just import my YouTube intro here, just as an example for the uh, video editor. And you could see that as soon as I open it up, the software asks me basically what format I want the output of the project to be. So you can see here it offers a number of different formats. You can also change the quality between low quality, which will make the conversion faster, and high quality, which will make it slower, but obviously will make it look better. So this is a great feature. It has many different codecs. It can convert into many different formats, which I think is great. So once you select that, you'll see in the timeline over here, we have my video. Now you can actually import more than one video at a time, which is great. So you can convert more than one video at a time, or you can also convert them all into one video file by checking this box over here, merge output video. Now I'll get more into that later, but I think that is a great feature. Anyway, so in terms of video editing, again, it is very basic. It's just meant for quick touch-ups. So you can edit the video by hitting edit, and you're automatically brought to this preview here. Uh, under general, you can just basically adjust the audio volume of the video. You can add subtitles. You can also crop the video or you can trim it. So if you only want a certain part of the video, you can actually trim the video. So now I'm just going to remove this and import a couple of photos. And the reason I have to remove it is because unfortunately it doesn't allow you to import both photos and videos at the same time. Now, in my opinion, that is a downside to this program because it would be nice to be able to mix video files with photo files to kind of create a slideshow but again there are other programs that can do that this is just meant to be a basic photo and video editor so go ahead and just import a couple of photos here and basically the way it works is you import photos by folder so I'll just select that folder there and it'll import all photos that I have in that folder now once you import your photos it shows up as just one folder and you can hit edit and you can see here that we can actually create a slideshow out of the various photos that are in that folder there. So you can add music by hitting this button here. You can also change the interval in between each photo. You can hit auto calculate if you want. And if you'd like, you can also import more photos over here. So then again, this is just a very basic slideshow maker. It doesn't really have transitions in between each photo. But again, if you just want to be making a quick slideshow, this is a program that can do that for you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the conversion process and basically what it does. And I'm going to do that by using a YouTube video URL since I haven't demonstrated that yet. So for that, I'm just going to be using my own video here, just because I don't want this video to get taken down for copyright issues, how to install VirtualBox guest editions in Linux. And all that you have to do is copy the link to the YouTube video, hit YouTube URL up here, and hit Paste and Analyze. And it'll analyze the video for resolution, format, size, and codec. Now this part might take a little while, but once it's done, you can see that you also have a few options here. You can select the resolution that you want it to download the video in. I'm just going to put it at its highest, so that's 720p HD, and you can just hit OK. And again, you're left with format options that you want to download and convert it in. So we have our MP4 video. That's just what I'm going to do with the quality at the highest, just so that we can see how long it takes at the highest quality. I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to convert it. So basically what you need to do down here, you can select your destination folder. Now over here you have quite a few options, which I really like. You have deinterlacing, which is great for older videos. It can just help improve the quality a bit. You have safe mode, in case the first time the conversion didn't work quite properly. You have user high quality engine. So I'm going to select that again, just to kind of help improve the quality of the video that's downloaded and converted from YouTube. And you also have your CPU core use. So I really like this feature because a lot of other programs don't include this. So if you want to be doing something that is really resource intensive in the background while you're converting, you can also change the CPU core use down so that this program doesn't use too much of your resources. I really like that about this program there. So I think that's a great feature. So anyways, once you've set all your parameters there, all you have to do is hit run. 
And since this is a YouTube video, it'll start downloading it from YouTube. You can see it downloads pretty fast, but then again, that could depend on your internet connection speed. But it downloads pretty fast, and once it's done downloading the video, it'll actually convert it into the format that you decided to convert it into. Now while it's converting, you also have the option to shut down the computer when the conversion is completed, and you also have the option to open the output folder when the conversion is completed. And you can see here that the YouTube video is completely downloaded, and now it's just converting it into the format that I'd like. Okay, so now it is done. It took about 5 minutes to download that video and convert it. That was a 3 minute and 60 second video. And it has gone ahead and saved it to my desktop, so you could see here that it has opened the desktop folder. Now if we play it back, you could see here that the quality is pretty so good. Now if you're interested in this software, it does cost $35.95 at the moment. This is a holiday discount. The normal list price is about $50. So I highly recommend going and downloading this software. It's probably one of the best video converters that I have used. And an added bonus is its ability to do basic video editing and to be used as a very basic slideshow maker. So if you're interested, just go to winxdvd.com, I'll keep a link down in the description, and you can go ahead and buy that. Now in the meantime, Digiardi, the maker of the software, is actually doing a holiday giveaway and promotion. Now right now they're giving away a free copy of Winx DVD Copy, which is normally paid software, and it basically allows you to copy DVDs to other DVDs, to ISO images, or to video TS folders, which is basically a DVD folder. Now this giveaway ends today, December 22nd, 2013. However, after this, they are going to be doing a, another giveaway of a free piece of software that normally does cost money. So I highly recommend going down in the description below and checking out their giveaway and seeing what they're offering for the holiday season. So thanks for watching, and I hope you guys like this review. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more, and also don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter page. Also don't forget to check out my website at www.gugudafit5techtutorials.com. All the links are in the description below.